Hello, this is Les Walkling and welcome to this short presentation on evaluating a file's screen appearance before printing it. And while there are incredibly informative ISO recommendations on the viewing conditions for photography and monitor calibration and working environments for proofing and printing, there will still be instances where less than ideal working conditions and software and hardware implementation and in some cases even contradictory concerns that prevent improvements to the workflow and working conditions and therefore also the printed outcomes. Of course there are many complicated considerations involved in addressing, let alone answering such questions, but simple common sense also needs to prevail. For example, a test chart such as our neutral 21 step wedge is a digital file that can be viewed on screen and printed through whatever print path is being evaluated. The resulting print, when viewed under whatever viewing and working conditions exist, immediately illustrates the similarities and differences between the workflow screen and print appearance. And LAB metrics are used because they are unambiguous device-independent measurements, as opposed to RGB or CMYK values whose colour metric meaning depends on the gamut they are referencing. For example, the same RGB triplet will mean a different colour in sRGB compared with Profoto RGB gamuts, whereas an LAB value describes the same unique colour irrespective of its working gamut or colour model. Lab values are also widely available as info palette readouts and advanced imaging applications such as Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom Classic, Affinity Photo, 3D Look Creator, and so on. The L star values describe perceptual brightness, while A star and B star values describe the color. The neutral 21 step wedge files A star and B star values are zero for all patches, therefore, they are perfectly neutral. Consequently, any non-neutral rendering of the step wedge, on screen or in print, and either globally or locally, will be immediately obvious, as will any differences in the same lightness values. For example, in less than ideal viewing and working conditions, a common observation is that the screen's peak brightness does not match the printing paper's whiteness, and that the shadows print dark and muddy compared with their screen appearance. Visible differences between the L star values on screen and the same values printed allows the file to be precisely adjusted until its printed appearance satisfies whatever criteria are being evaluated, such as the shadows not appearing dark and muddy or the highlights and the feelings they project being misleading. Therefore, using simple LAB metrics to evaluate screen values relative to their appearance in the physical print is a simple but incredibly helpful evaluation technique. And if needed, our neutral 21 step wedge can also be downloaded from our support notes calibrating website. I hope this presentation has been both helpful and informative and I wish you all the best with your adventures in digital imaging.